Assassin's Creed Mirage has been out for almost five months now. That's a fairly lengthy amount of time for people to sink their teeth into the game and also reflect on it. Mirage has had a lot of mixed reviews on extreme ends of each side. Some creators have sung its praises and people such as myself have spoken on its failures. I think it's fair to say that Assassin's Creed Mirage is quite a controversial title in the AC franchise. So, what's Mirage like five months down the line? Has the game gotten any better with its added content, such as new game modes like New Game Plus and Permadeath, an upgraded parkour system, and more outfits and weapons? Fellow Assassins, if you want to stay up to date with everything Assassin's Creed in a regular way, consider pressing the subscribe button. With that said, let's get into it. Let's start off with everything new that's been added to Mirage post-launch. Not long after a parkour overhaul mod was released to Nexus, Ubisoft followed suit. As was the same with the original mod, the official update added a further reaching jump distance when it came to side and back ejecting. This doesn't sound like much of a change to the parkour, but you'll be surprised what a little tweak can actually do. Chaining parkour in AC Mirage is now much easier to accomplish without having to drop down to the ground or to a lower level, losing momentum. Sure, it's not going to feel or look as good as Unity Parkour, or have anywhere near the level of control that AC1 to Revelations had, but it does indeed make the parkour of Mirage feel slightly less janky and add somewhat of a quality of life to the game. New Game Plus is just that, the chance to start over from the beginning of the game whilst still retaining your weapons, skills and outfits. Permadeath Mode is the most recent addition to the game. If you get killed at any point in a permadeath playthrough, no matter how far into the game you are, you must start all the way at the beginning. Now, the story and fundamentals of the game are the same in this mode, but I can tell you from experience, it completely changes the way you view the game. It's way more intense and you'll notice yourself approaching everything drastically different from your first playthrough. Things like just jumping from a building gets rethought as anything that takes even an ounce of risk can be fatal to your playthrough. Permadeath mode is offering new outfits and dies for completing the game. And on screen now, I will show you exactly what they look like. Now, it's currently unknown if Assassin's Creed Mirage is going to get any DLC at the time of this recording, but if I were to take an educated guess, I'd say it's fairly unlikely. Seeing that we're getting a ton of leaks for the next game in the series, Assassin's Creed Codename Red, that indicates to me that Ubisoft are gearing up to re-reveal the game pretty soon. From a marketing perspective, if you were to release a DLC, then you'd want its marketing campaign to be over and done with before you start a campaign for something else. On top of that, it was stated before the release of Mirage that it would be supported after launch, but at that point in time, they had no plans for expansion content. So, it seems like Mirage has missed the boat on a story DLC. For a lot of people, Assassin's Creed Mirage was the AC game they'd been wanting for years. It was heralded as a return to roots, a new yet familiar take on everything the first Assassin's Creed game offered, and more. But, did it live up to the hype? Is Assassin's Creed Mirage a classic AC game? Well, yes and no. It follows the traditional action-adventure formats that the OGs had, with the newer RPG elements weaved in, and draws from similar philosophical themes that some Assassin's Creeds were once known for. But, in my opinion, it didn't do this anywhere near as well as the first game through to Black Flag. That said, if you're here to kick back and get immersed in an assassin fantasy for 30 or so hours, and aren't worried about a deeply thought out narrative that makes you question your own existence and free will, then yeah, you'll probably have a decent time. Assassin's Creed Mirage doesn't reinvent the wheel by any means, and I'd even go as far as to say it's a rustier wheel than some AC games that have come out over a decade ago. But as I said, if you want some mindless assassin fun, some education about the history of Baghdad and rooftop to rooftop parkour, then you'll be just fine. Especially for the price tag that Mirage is available for now. On all major platforms, it's $49.99 USD, and you can find some Amazon stockists selling Mirage for even cheaper. It's always wise to keep an eye on the Xbox, PlayStation, and PC store sales too. You never know when you'll snag AC Mirage for a bargain. Overall, should you buy and play Assassin's Creed Mirage five months later in 2024? Sure, why not? It's not too hefty of a game and you might just enjoy it. Can I guarantee you'll love Mirage? No, I didn't particularly like it, and I've been a fan of the series ever since AC1. But again, you're not me, and it's always worth giving a shot, especially if you love Assassin's Creed as much as I do. Personally, Assassin's Creed Mirage didn't hit the mark that it should have, for me. 
If you're interested in watching my one hour extensive analysis and critique of the game, I'll leave a link to that video in the description. And it will also be displayed as an end screen card in this video's outro. Nonetheless, maybe after the updates, I'll try to reapproach AC Mirage with a different mindset sometime in the future. Although that won't be for quite a while as my list of games to play is staggeringly long. Well, there you have it, Assassins, Assassin's Creed Mirage five months later. If you did enjoy this video and want to stay up to date with everything Assassin's Creed, then you can subscribe to stay in the loop. My Twitter and Instagram are both linked down below. I love you guys, mate, the father of understanding guide us. I will see you soon. Goodbye.